Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get all the updates. Uh, very excited for today's beer, like, really excited. Um, it's courtesy of Brad Allison. Thank you so much, Brad. Definitely check out his channel if you guys haven't already. If you watch my channel, you probably watch Brad. Uh, great beer reviews, does home brewing stuff. Sometimes his wife Jessica joins him. Really good. And um, but anyway, I'm really excited to try this beer. I kind of want to get into it. So he sent me a giant box of beers. And a lot of things looked amazing. Uh, 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 one or two that I've had, I think just one, the Hipster Brunch, um, the Barrel Aged um, um, Third Coast, right? Third Coast from Bells. Anyway, none of that matters right now. Here's what I'm trying to say. This beer is the one that might be the most interesting sounding because it's completely unlike anything I've ever had in terms of a beer. So it's called... Um, uh, Cotton Candy Haze, a Juicy New England IPA. And it's from, uh, I almost said Great Lakes, Big Lake Brewing in Holland, Michigan. Here's, so, so far, like, yeah, you've, you've reviewed a lot of New England IPAs. What's so interesting? Well, this one has cotton candy flavors in it. It says, cotton, well, it says cotton candy flavored Juicy New England IPA. So it makes me think they've added these like this cotton candy blend of flavors um i did a super quick search it looks like cotton candy has like artificial berry and vanilla in it so i don't know if they bought like a flavor pack and put it in there if they're if they put in berries and vanilla if they um try to brew it in a way that it's going to emulate cotton candy i mean they have those cotton candy grapes you know there's no cotton candy in those so who knows uh, but yeah, I'm really excited to try this and just kind of see what it tastes like. Well, the color's not. I think I get a little cotton candy already. Um, the color, you know, it doesn't have, I knew it wasn't going to look like the label, which is, if you're making a cotton candy beer, I mean, that's the label uh, to have. But yeah, I mean, it's uh, 30 glasses every time. Yeah, it's that nice you know, orange, yellow, like very vibrant, um, you know, yeah, and the outside is yellow, the, the center's more orange, it just looks beautiful, um, just barely off white, head about a finger, getting kind of fluffy, it's nice, it's going to the aroma, that unmistakably, <laughs> wow, unmistakably has cotton candy coming out of it, But also a very citrusy IPA, um, zest, like orange zest, maybe a, actually a little bit of grapefruit. And then that cotton candy sweetness mixing with this citrus is creating this other thing that is reminiscent of something. I just can't pull it yet. Because it's not like the sweetness of the cotton candy aroma is making it smell like a, a candy that has citrus in it or something. It's, it's not quite that, but it is, it is creating something else. I don't know. I don't know. It's a super interesting aroma. It's not a bad aroma. It just, it's just different. Let's see about the taste. Cheers. Maybe a little grapey? What's this smell? That's an interesting taste. I like the aroma better than I like the taste. You do get some of that cotton candy. And, and you do get a, a citrusy IPA. And it is more of that New England style than like a West Coast citrus. It's interesting too, like, um, not that I eat a lot of cotton candy. The last time I had cotton candy was actually made with maple syrup or maple sugar. So it wasn't even like traditional. So I don't remember the last time I had cotton candy. But anyway, it kind of, the cotton flavor, cotton candy flavor, it's almost like when you're eating it, 
and like in your mouth it's compressing and crystallizing very quickly before it you know goes away again so like that in a way this beer is interesting because it has that intensity of cotton candy but it's not intense and so it sounds like a total contradiction and probably bad descriptor but it, it, it has that crystallized taste without the added sugar but then because it has this citrus thing it's like i, I don't think these are necessarily complementary flavors um and it makes it hard to describe because really all i'm getting is this excuse me like like what you think cotton candy tastes like with a citrusy ipa and it's hard to get like other things out of the ipa portion of this and you're not going to get anything else out of cotton candy other than me trying to like tell you specifically at what part of the cotton candy eating experience you're getting your cotton candy in this beer. So that cotton candy is making it harder to kind of describe what else is probably going on in the base beer. Uh, I'm going to do one more swig and see if I can kind of get other beer stuff out of this. The citrus, like the aroma, it, it, it very much is orange. And then there is some grapefruit there. Yeah, I, I tell you what, I don't know how, how interesting of a review this is or not, but it's, 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 that's it. It's just, it's this cotton candy thing and the citrusy IPA. And I can't get anything else. Um, does it have the ABV? It's a little thinner than I would have thought on the taste. Uh, not like watery or anything, but it's a little thinner than, uh, no, I don't see an, uh, an ABV than what I think of as an IPA. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's really interesting. Um, if you're like, if you can't get this, like I can't unless someone was to send it to me, um, do they still make like that cotton candy gum? I would just chew some of that while drinking a citrusy IPA and then you've had this beer. Um, yeah, it's a cool idea for the brewery for sure. Super glad I got to try it because it's completely different than anything I'm up to. However many beers I've had in my life and then how many, you know, I've reviewed. So it's completely different. So I'm like super excited about that. But uh, yeah, not a, these are not flavors. I, I did not see this becoming the next IPA craze. I'll put it that way. But thanks again, Brad and Jessica. I really appreciate the chance to try this. Thank you guys for watching. I always appreciate that. Check them out. Check me out uh, uh, on Instagram and on Tap. It's no hype beer reviews at both those places. So please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, try weird beer. Cheers.